What's up everyone, it's Typical Geller here, and today I'm going to be here to talk about SIG hacks for Nintendo 3DS for homebrew and custom firmware. So here what we have is Smilum talking about SIG hacks, and it says now that SIG hacks is out there, there will soon be no reason not to get CFW, which is custom firmware. Congrats to... Derek R6 and Skyers M for this release. And people asked, if I have ARM 9 loader hacks, what can I do with this? And this is the answer to that question. So let's read what this says about SIG hacks. One sec. Updating the boot 9 strap or SIG hacks. All future releases of Luma 3DS will only be made in the dot firm format, which will only be compatible with boot 9 strap and SIG hacks. This means that to continue receiving the latest updates of Luma, you should use this page to update your installation. So, what you'll need is the File name secret sector 9 bin and the data input zip. So you can download this through torrents and then you can download these on your um, phone or, or PC. I recommend PC because it's easier and you have more storage. So you, you power off your 3DS, insert your SD card. Create the boot 9 strap folder and copy that from the Luma 3DS to the root. Copy God Mode 9 to the Luma payloads. Delete any existing bin payloads in this folder as they will not be compatible with boot strap 9. Copy, bait, copy safe boot 9 strap installer.bin from the safe b9 s installer. Zip from the zip to the Luma payloads. Copy the boot 9 strap firm and the boot 9 strap firm plus C A S H A to the zip and the boot strap 9 folder. And then you copy all this into your 3DS, reinstall, reinsert it to your 3DS, and then you boot you boot your D device with start and power. To launch the Luma 3DS chain lo loader, sorry, chain loader menu. Launch safe bootstrap 9 by pressing A. Wait for all the safety checks to complete. Put the key combo, which is like the up, down, side, side, stuff like that, LR. And it'll reboot. So NAND in system string. This is a lot of stuff that you gotta do, but all this new stuff, I guess, is worth it. No. So let's look up SIG hacks. Alright. This is just going to be a quick video. Hopefully for a, I hopefully I can upload it before bed. Um So, Aurora right, the creator of Luma 3DS has now up, up added SIG hack support to the latest version of Luma. Do not update your 3DS if you're on 11. Point, um do not update your 3DS if you're on 11.23 if you don't have Luma because it will break the ability to get Luma on your 3DS. So yeah, you're going to need all these files. Signature hacks, signa, which is SIG hacks for short, is a boot ROM exploit 
revealed by Derek at the 3-3-C-3. What does that mean? Since Derek was able to dump the 3DS boot ROMs and exploit them, we can now sign our own NAND images. A bit more accurate, if a boot ROM was made public, it could then be used to proceed. Then you'd be able to create a signature that ends up on the pointer to the check, which will compare itself with itself. The actual SIG hacks part to sign firmware is with this manipulated signature. That's yeah, not accurate enough. What can we do? SIG hacks will let you exploit signature verification of the boot ROM to basically run unsigned hacks for hack signed firmware. This has to be written onto the firm partition. That means your patches would be done static directly to the firm and written to device. This exploit effectively skips the signature checking, which is the signature check is what Nintendo uses to make sure it's their stuff that goes on 3DS and not anything else's, like homebrew and stuff like that. Therefore, it can run before the OTP disable on startup. The OTP disable <clears throat> is what makes a regular 3DS not able to run custom or custom software without custom firmware. And yeah, or homebrew without custom firmware. Yeah, stuff like that. It'll launch a little bit faster than a A9 LH, and it's useful if you want to install custom OS on the 3DS. It's basically harder to update. Can this be patched by Nintendo? No, since it's a it's a boot ROM exploit is literally unpatchable. Just a hardware revision could fix that. So ARM line loader hacks is obsolete then. Basically yes when SIG hacks is released, but better to keep it that will make the future update to SIG hacks better for you. What are we currently doing doing with ARM line loader hacks? We currently patch the initial firmware with a nine L H and then inject CFW code into it, then basically have CFW. This is done via a verification exploit of ARM9 and loads a payload after ARM9 is ran. So there will be SIG hacks to save, is it, so since there is SIG hacks, will it be safe to update to past 11.x when Nintendo releases system updates then? No. If you haven't installed ARM9 loader hacks to your 3DS system, do not update past 11.3. So this isn't. This was um, from December 29th, 2016, and everything is now done and fixed. Current status, it should be ready around tomorrow. And that was the 19th. So, yes, it'll be ready on the 20th, which is tomorrow. It's an exploit that'll allow you to run everything custom firmware and all the stuff you could want on your 3DS without needing ARM9 loader hacks anymore. So, thank you guys for this quick, for watching this quick video. Um, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, comment, stuff like that, and have a good day.